Hi, this is the Stug 3 set 2465 with 400 pieces. The Stungeschutz 3 assault gun was Germany's most produced armored fighting vehicle during World War II. It was built on the chassis of a Panzer III tank and the turret was replaced by a fixed superstructure that was able to support a more powerful gun. Initially intended as a mobile assault gun for direct infantry support, the Stug was continually modified and was widely employed as a tank destroyer. This Stug right here is a G variant and 8,423 units were produced on this variant. This was the final and by far the most common variant of the Stug series. And accompanying the Stug 3, we have two minifigures. This one's the first minifigure here. It's armed with the MP40 and the stick grenade. All black uniform, like all the tank crews. They wear all black. The German crews and nice, pretty nice detailed print on the chest. And it has a little cap, but no details on the cap. And moving to the next minifigure here. Just a small pistol and a pair of binocles. And also all in black, but a different hat. And the, the guy is the one that had with the scar. Now, the tank has two hatches that it can access on the top right here and we can place the minifigures inside one can go on the MG it actually has a lot of space to for the figure to stand up although the MG space is kind of tight right here there we go and the MG, will be, the guy on the MG will be here, and the tank commander right here, like this. Also, on this, on the side of the tank, we have uh, extra tracks and a little trench shovel. Here on the front, we have the symbol for the division Ghost Dutchland that roughly translates to Great Great Germany. Right here we have a like they did a offset part here and it will be the vision port for the driver. One thing about this gun here like on this set it's really easy to come apart. This part doesn't connect too well with the other brake that's in here and if you just move a little bit and it comes out really easily that's one downside of this set right here we got our mud flaps and also matching tiles on a sort of a muddy camouflage I would say Probably on uh, on the Easter front, like when it was raining. Uh, right here, on the other side, we have another track and also a pickaxe. And on the back, we have a little compartment here for the engine. And uh, the engine is kind of halfway there. Oops, kind of press on this a little bit too much. And also two extra pairs of boogie wheels. And how they did uh, this, the design of this back here. Actually, we have two little brakes here. Those two little brakes here. That if you take them apart, like this, actually you can open a little bit more. But uh, the way they design it just this flap here and I try to actually 
move the engine a little bit up but it would be on the place of the cover and it would be slanted like this and it wouldn't look good at all on the back you have the German cross and also or two mud flaps on the back it's a pretty similar build to the Panzer 3 it's like since it was the same ch chassis they actually on the Kobe when they designed they used the same chassis on this, this on this build here it's a pretty neat set I really like it the color and everything and they also have a new version coming out that uh, I actually didn't like it because they took this part here this shovel doesn't exist anymore and the the track and they add some chains and a little log brick that I'm uh, not sure what they did that uh, the picture is right there if you wondering and that's my review for the Stungschutz 3 from Kobe please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so and thank you so much for watching and see you next time